Power Rangers and Elgin. What do we have in common? Before we start, subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, share, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this Power Rangers anime video. With that being seen, it's morphing time. Let me explain something to you folks. Power Rangers. The world of Power Rangers and the world of Eldrin series. Eldrin is it's like we do not see it unless somebody posts it. Every year, kinds of attempts at world domination, a patron saint, Eldrin, and trust robots and auxiliary robots on to elementary school children. Regardless of the grade, Classes, how many of these children in class, robots co cooperating, comfort, and different types of evil organizations, which attempt to take over the earth. I'm sorry, I couldn't read that very fast because, you know, I got too excited. Now, this all started with the one man who made the world of, of, of Tokuatsu, a.k.a. Super Sentai. Kamen Rider, Ultraman, Metal Man, but mostly Super Sentai and Kamen Rider. Mr. Shitaro Ishinomori. Mr. Ishinomori is the guy who helped build Power, Power Rangers. I mean, he started out with Super Sentai. Came to be known as Hiramitsu Sentai Going Rangers. All the way down to Evan Brothers Air Rangers. I think no, yeah, Air Rangers. Boy, I thought they never put a festival on like they did there. Beautiful, very beautiful, very very beautiful. But from there, it went from Super Sentai to Power Rangers. And we thought, man, is it me or is it something missing? Now you're thinking, no, bro, I think it's you. There's nothing missing. Uh, wrong, wrong, wrong. What if they had an anime Power Rangers? Hmm? They went from manga to live action to American live action. And then from the American live action, you had an anime version. But this time, it doesn't involve teenagers, it involves kids. Elementary school kids who controls robots similar to, you know, Power Rangers, you know? I mean, I could put that in a way you could understand. I'm going to do a follow-up video on that. To make sure you get what I'm talking about. But. Here's what I'm about to get at. On this thing. The show will resolve around. A group of five. Teenagers with attitude. They become the first team of Power Rangers on Earth, led by the mentor Zordon and his robotic assistant Alpha 5 against the evil witch Repulsa and her minions. Now you're thinking, dude. Now, when it says led by Zordon, their mentor Zordon, is a light beam. An alien source or light beam. Huh. Who that remind you? Oh yeah, this guy. On your right, his name is Eldrin. Who gives kids, elementary school kids, powers to, you know, defend the earth from evil. Based on which 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 version of this of this, you know, evil they have to defend against. I mean, Power Rangers. Use these morphers to change it to costumes form, costume forms, 
emanated transformation. Oh, a unanimous transformation or metamorphosis. A morpher give a ranger access to their costume along with their enhanced strength, speed, and durability to fight monsters. Now, the Sora band does the same thing. Just like the other bands of the Eldrin series. The reason why I'm using dinosaurs, you know, because, hey. When more the Rangers become powerful superheroes wearing color-coded coated skin tights, spandex suits, helmets with uh, a peak visors, identical except in individual ranger colors, helmets, designs, and monetary styling. Hmm. Some possess superhumans such as super speed, elements of millennialization, extraordinary sensory, perception, invisibility, or oh, invincibility, addition, each a visual has a unique weapon as well as common weaponry used for the gr ground battle, I mean ground fighting. Which means if you look at it closely, I want to use guns, they use multiple weapons. Ranger teams operate teams of well, how many now? Three or five, with more rangers joining the team later on. Each team of rangers, with a few exceptions, obey general sets of uh, conventions. Outlined at the beginning of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, implied by mentors throughout many of the other series. Which means, no gain, no glory. With gain comes glory. When enemy grows into credible size, as nearly as all do, Ranger use Zords they could buy into large Megazords. Which means, hmm, why does this sound familiar? Oh, that's right, forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me. I must have been stupid on that day to not notice. But, <clears throat> hold on, let me explain. With the combination of these these mechas, as we won't call them in an anime, you know, saying or Zords, as we want to name it. Either way we put it, they combine to fight large sized monsters, which could cut the monsters in half and make them look like they was already dead before they became born. Right? I mean <laughs> where do we notice? By watching this series, of course. Because one, if you think about it, with each Zord size and each component combined together to make a Mega Zord with the color-coded team members of each Power Rangers, you could say that's an anime Power Rangers right there. Especially if they wear a helmet or not. Need I say more? Man, that's crazy. That's, that's, that's wild. So let me ask you a question. Does Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Mega Battle should it have his should have, you know how can I put it? Gave inspiration to hot-blooded ghost horrors. Huh. Man, that's that's, that's... that's that's very questioning. Very questioning. Very questioning. Hmm. But still, do you think the Eldrin series is it anime Power Rangers? Yes or no? I don't know. I don't know. But with that being said, I'm your boy Chris Blackthorne Harris. When it comes to knowing the world of Power Rangers, it's always been more phenomenal.